So many clients come to us for advice on how brands grow. And brands really grow if more people buy brands more often and more easily. So it really starts with people. How people make decisions, which is more nowadays system one than system two, more unconscious than conscious. Secondly, how brands exist in the minds of people as a network of associations. And thirdly, how can brands influence these associations? How can brands influence these purchase decisions? So at Ipsos we've conducted R&D in two categories, beer and mobile phones, and we found four insights. One, rank order matters. Number two, it's important for brands to build a rich network of associations. Number three, not only need a brand a strong network of associations in the mind of the consumers, they also need to be relevant to keep users occasions. And number four, it's important for brands to have distinctive brand assets. So let's start with the first, rank matters. In our research in mobile phones, when we ask people what brand of mobile phone would they consider, more than half consider a Samsung and less than 40% consider an Apple. Yet if we look at the speed of retrieval, Apple comes to mind first by most people. And that actually relates more than market share or better to market share than consideration set. Secondly, also from the mobile industry, we have noticed that those brands that have most associations, so the strongest network of associations, tend to have higher shares, where Apple and Samsung had a rich network of associations and compared to a smaller brand with Motorola, had only a small uh, set of associations. Um, so that's the second finding. So let's move to the third point, use associations. And if you look at the research that we've done in the uh, beer category, most associations that people have uh, with Bud Light, the number one brand, are around football, friends, relaxing at home, and those happen to be those uh, uh, occasions where most of the beer consumption take place. And finally, uh, when we look at brand assets and distinctive brand assets, when we ask people to spontaneously mention what comes to mind in the beer category and in the mobile phone category, most of the, the associations are with the strongest brand and are about the distinctive assets that these brands have. So with Apple, it's about the logo, it's about the phone, it's about things different and uh, all related to Apple. And with the uh, beer category, it's around the horses of Bud, uh, Budweiser, uh, the color of the bottle. Um, so it's important for a, to be a strong brand, to have very strong distinctive assets. So in summary, there are four things you need to remember if you want to grow your brands. Number one, your brand needs to be ranked first, comes to mind first in the mind of the consumers. Number two, your consumers need to have a rich network of associations with your brand. And number three, those associations need to be relevant for the key users occasions. And finally, you need to make sure that you have strong and distinctive brand assets to activate those associations at the point of purchase. So in summary, brands don't buy brands, people buy brands. If you want to understand how to grow your brands, you really need to understand how your consumers make decisions.